Namaste, divine friends. Today, we're going to talk about the nature of our reality, the nature of Prakriti, um, through the concept of Samkhya philosophy. Uh, one of the questions we want to answer today is really, it, how is nature set up? And really boiled it down to why do the Indian religions um, have so many gods. We have, and also, yeah, the Nordic religions, a lot of the, the Greek mythology um, has, we have so many gods. You have um, Surya, the god of the sun. You have Gaia, the god of the earth. You have all of these gods. How does, how does this fit together? How can we conceptualize that so that we can kind of make sense and put these pieces together for ourselves. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So first off, we'll jump in. This is a continuing series on Samkhya. We talked last time about Prakriti is Ishvara. Ishvara is the creator God that created the world we live in. He created this world this bubble, this universe, this cycle of reality through his mental prowess. He goes into deep samadhi and our world is just like a dream to him because he is a separate consciousness and we're a living inside of his world. So this is his world, his bubble that we're yeah, trapped within until we get out. And but if he's creating this world and we have all of us in here, how did he get that get created? And for me, I like to think about it as a large corporation. If you've got a large corporation, you've got, you can say just the CEO is over the company. And then you have all these divisions. You've got the, the senior directors and the vice presidents and the board of directors and all of these people just, it takes a lot of people to run a company. And as an analogy, you could just say, okay, it takes a whole lot of gods to create a world, to create um, the world that we live in, the, our whole universe. And so each, each piece has a god. You have the god of our universe here. You have the God of the sun, and he has the God controlling or monitoring all of the other uh, energies of the planets. Each of the stars is um, a separate God, a different d divine being. In a lot of the old um, mythology, a lot of the um, indigenous knowledge, they say, yeah, look up at the stars. Um, your ancestors are up there. Each star is an ancestor. And that is really drops right into Samkhya philosophy as the stars are the energies that they're the projections of um, superb divine beings that have the energy to be able to project and create just like we desire to create they desire to create and so they create their own own stars their own worlds underneath them so that they can live inside those worlds for us we have surya our sun god controlling the nine planets and our our particular solar system and so in addition to uh, all of the various gods at the higher levels, with starting with the rishis and the saints and the munis and all on up, a continuous progression on up there, you also have the divine incarnations of Ishvara. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna promised that he would come back and... Uh, help out his people. So even though Ishvara created the world, he still has the ability to project his personality, create um, a divine body, a divine aspect of his personality, and descend into this world to help us out. And if you looked at the talk on um, 
Vedic time, we see that this cycle of creation, our world, world were around two to four billion years into a 300 trillion year cycle. And if every changing, every time we go through one uh, cycle of creation to the next, every time we pass through um, one yuga to the next yuga, we get another uh, descension of Ishvara, another personality of him coming down. You'll have over so many cycles, you'll have a long oral history of, of so many gods. You have Krishna, who came down at the end of uh, the descending cycle of um, the last yuga, 3200 BC. And then you have Lord Ram came back um, during the Ramayama wars as the cycle was descending. And every, every cycle, you continue to have more divine descensions of the divinity. So that's you, you get that structure and that'll help put the pieces together. So short talk today. Thank you very much for your attention. Namaste.